saw it me in my kitchen trying to get a couple things done. I hope you like to be creative in the kitchen too. I know my kids do sometimes. My husband's a great cook as well. And I love cooking, but you can be creative with your cooking um, when you like to. Obviously, caught me a little bit by surprise today, but I'm really glad to see you guys. So, starting some dinner. I've been cooking a little bit today. Got some apple bread. I like to listen to some music and have a little fun in the kitchen as well. And over here, we've got some cooking going on. Making some shepherd's pie. I love that. I hope you like it too. So, I wanted to talk to you about being creative in the kitchen today. You can look around in your kitchen with your parents' permission, of course, um, for some fun baking activities or cooking activities. Maybe you can work together. Always clean up your mess. Be careful with certain of course. But today we're talking about being creative a little different way in the way that maybe ancient people um, would use certain tools, certain things that they could find for painting or making marks, if you will. Making marks could be with rocks. Um, so if you go outside and then you try rocks on um, concrete or rocks on bricks or other um, rocks then they can make a mark um, perhaps you've been outside and found little twigs or berries or even leaves and things that when you push them down on another um, they will uh, make a different color or um, create a little bit of a juice that you can use to paint with and this is how ancient people um, if you look back at ancient egyptians and look at some of their um, paintings, things like that, or cave um, paintings. Um, those are the kind of things that they're talking about. And some of you do have paint at home, and some of you do not. I thought this might be a fun activity to see what kind of marks can you make with paint. So if you don't have a paintbrush, you can also use um, things like a toothpick or a fork or spoon or stick that you find outside or maybe even some um, pine needles, something that has that brush-like texture. That'd be kind of interesting to see as well. So let's go on a little adventure around the kitchen and see what we can find so that we can use that to make marks. So as we're moving around, we're going to go over here to the spice cabinet and in the spice cabinet you have lots of things that could make marks um, I'm going to grab some dry mustard there's other things in here too paprika that might be good um, so we're going to grab a few things out of here and next we're going to go to the refrigerator I uh, hope it's not too messy. So we're going to look in here, maybe some berries. Those might be good. So I've got strawberries as well. Um, jams and jellies might work, but remember they're kind of sticky, so be careful with that. Maybe water that down a little bit, but I think that's probably, ooh, chocolate syrup might work too, but that's really sticky as well. So I think we're going to stick to what we've got right here. And in this cabinet... Maybe some cocoa powder. This is my baking cabinet. Um, and maybe some food coloring. So we're going to take this over to the table and see what we can do with it. So I've got the table set up. I don't know if you can see. With a platter that I've got a few things um, on. Let me move it this way. And the light might be kind of bright here. Um, I'm moving it around. Sorry for the Well, let's see what we've got on the tray. Let's 
So we've got the tray, and um, I brewed a little bit of tea here on the tray. I've got, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of some of the things that we've gotten out, some food coloring, some berries, and Cocoa powder. I can see if you can see some of this. Okay. So the tray is looking a little bit like this, and I think we can start making a little bit of a mess but hopefully not too bad so what else do we get all right so i'm going to pour a little bit of the tea mixture it's very light colored so you have to think about what what you want to make with this so we're experimenting and when you're experimenting there's no such thing as a mistake you're trying to see what's going to happen um, if you create using some of these things so I'm going to smash up, I guess I'll show you a little bit. I'm going to smash the berry a little bit. I'm using a fork. Uh, you could use the back of a spoon if you wanted to. This is a raspberry, and so it does have some little seeds. Um, not sure how the strawberry is going to work. We're going to see. I'm experimenting with you guys. Kind of juicy, right? which is kind of what we want. Now, keep in mind that we're probably going to add a little bit of water to most of these things. So if you need to use a spoon, you can. And so I'm going to back this up just a little bit. I'm sure you can see. All right. So suggestions are things like teas. Um, maybe without sugar, if possible, Kool-Aid as well, um, food coloring, spices, herbs, herbs might be as uh, good as well, and, and berries and things. And just look around your house and see what you think might make a mark. And it's okay if it doesn't make a bright mark. Your goal is to see what kind of mark will this make. So I've got a couple of paint brushes here, just some old paint brushes. Also have a toothpick and we have the fork, of course. Um, you could use some other things. I do have um, just a little plastic glass with water inside. So um, you are welcome to get a cup or whatever it is that um, you have available to you. So I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in water. And of course, you know how we talk about this, rinse, swish Mr. Paintbrush's hair down to the bottom of the um, bowl because you're want to make sure it's clean and then wipe it off. Now I'm going to be adding some drops of water to some of the things. So, and I don't want to get them dirty yet. So I'm just putting a little bit in each spot, maybe like a drop. So a little in the cocoa, a little in the cinnamon, a little in the chili powder, a little in the turmeric, a little in the berries. Also have a little jam over here. I wanted to see what would happen. That could be sticky, so be careful with that. I did put some coffee on here, but it looks like it may have dried up a little bit. Coffee might be a good one, too. All right, where is... Ah, the mustard. <laughs> So we have a little bit of the dry mustard. It looks really light. It's a almost white on here. I'll show you. It's right here. It's really difficult to see. 
and paprika. It's pretty bold looking, the paprika is. All right, a little bit of water there. Now remember, in between each of these, we are going to um, rinse our brush. Um, if you're wanting a bolder color, don't use very much water. If you're wanting a little lighter, kind of like we do with watercolor in class, add a little more water. So I'm going to focus on the tray right now. And I'm going to start with that tea because I'm not going to need any water for that. So let's see what happens. The tea, it's so light. All right, let's try. I'm going to rinse my brush. Try the coffee. The coffee could be darker. Remember, I told you mine dried up a little bit. So mine is looking really light, like a light tan. Rinse my brush. Okay. I'm going to try the cocoa. So the cocoa powder. Got a little water with that. Now I'm stirring around just so it, it's smoother because these are dry ingredients and they tend to be kind of um, powdery and maybe a little lumpy. So just let's see what happens. So there's a light version. Let's see if I can get a little more of the cocoa powder mixed in, see if it gets any darker. It might not. Ah, maybe a little. So a little less water. It can't be too dry though. There we go. All right, I'm gonna rinse my brush. And I'm going to go for the cinnamon. Mm, that smells good. Of course the cocoa powder doesn't smell bad either, but something about cinnamon smells like home. Maybe while you're working on this, you could, while, while something is baking, you can, here's some cinnamon. See, that's looking a little grain. In other words, I can see little dots in it. So cinnamon doesn't mix as well with the water, but I'm going to stir a little more and see if I can get a little more of the color. So I can get darker with it, but it still has that texture that I was talking about. All right, rinse your brush. I'm going to try some chili powder. Chili powder is pretty dark. Chili powder is technically a mix of several ingredients, unless you just grind up chili peppers. But a lot of times in the store, it will have some other things mixed with it. Ooh, that's kind of a neat color. I really like that. Kind of an orangish brown. Oh, that smells yummy too. I love Mexican food though. It's my favorite. So anything. I didn't put any um, cayenne pepper, but I really love spicy food. So if you have those, be careful if you get them on your fingers. So you want to wash that off, not touch your face. But there's some fun ingredients to try. And of course, have your parents permission. You don't need much to make a mark with it. Just one little spoon. All right. And this is that turmeric and I feel like I, I may have put a little too much water in that part because I think that could get darker but look how interesting these colors are coming hopefully you can see them pretty well all right rinsing let's try the dry mustard did we do that one already for some reason I'm thinking we did And paprika. This is a smoky paprika. I said, oh, look how beautiful. It's a gorgeous color. A lot like the chili powder, but slightly different. That's a little more red, isn't it? All right. I'm going to try some of the berries. I feel like I might should have taken the berry and just rubbed it on the paper. But this is the color. Look at that light, light pink. That's the color you're going to get with this raspberry that I have. Let's try a little bit of the strawberry. Ah, the raspberry on the paper as it's drying looks a little purpler, a little more purpley. 
than the strawberry rinsing. And I do have some jam over here, so I'm going to try a little bit of the jam. Remember, it's going to be ground up. It will have sugar in it, so it could be sticky, but let's see what happens. Oh, that's beautiful. I believe because it's cooked down a little more, that might give you a little more of the color you're looking for. Um, so we've tried a few things. The only thing I haven't tried, and these should be really dark, and that's why I kind of waited till last to do that, rinsing my brush, are some of the um, food coloring. So this is green. Now see how bold because it is dyed. Of course, you can add a drop of water even like you do watercolor and see how it will get lighter. Any of these should get lighter with some water. Try another color. So let's see what kind of marks you can make with these. I'd, I'd love to see you experiment a little bit and maybe even create some sort of painting out of um, your ideas. Um, I did find some other things. So just so you can see, we have here like how dark this can be, um, that matcha green tea yellow food coloring that's without any water and that's with water um, this one's got red food coloring all these are food coloring see how dark they are and that's kind of what we expected because they are manufactured they're created for that but let's see what else you have like some sorts of teas um, some that have berries or different kinds of flowers in them they're going to be a little darker and you can, when you're brewing tea, um, you can put less water so that it has a little more of a color. There's a mint tea right there or a peach tea. And then that one's turmeric with vinegar. Maybe I should have tried some vinegar. I did think about that when I dyed my eggs the other day. Um, I always put a little bit of vinegar with that. Um, taco seasoning. I don't have taco seasoning. I tend to make my own. Um, I just use some of the spices or herbs that I have around, but um, the chili powder would be uh, reminiscent of that. Um, there's coffee quite strong, hot chocolate, um, cocoa powder, we did that, cinnamon, um, vanilla extract. Um, these are some crystal lights and some other drinks if you have like some Mio or... Um, Oh, there's black pepper. I have lots of pepper. I could have tried that. But um, try it without adding much water. If it's liquid, um, try it with a little bit of vinegar and see if that will help you. Sometimes even a little dish soap. So something that's granule, like I was having trouble with that cinnamon showing up. But honestly, I cannot wait to see what you guys uh, come up with. And um, it's great having you in my kitchen today. Maybe you can even show me some pictures of things that you're baking because when you're baking, you're using math, um, especially those fractions. Um, and it's fun and tasty, of course, too. I love to do that. So I've got to get back to cooking so nothing burns over here. And I hope you guys have a very good day. Enjoy your fun time in the kitchen. And I'm going to get back to dancing. Hopefully you um, didn't think it was too silly, but I'm having fun. And I know you are too. And uh, me and my Mona Lisa socks are going to go slide across the floor. Have a great day. Bye.